So I got up this morning and I've been thinking about turning this piece of wood here. I'm certain this is apple. I've had it for about three years. It's been under my pole building, nice and dry. And I looked out the window and there was huge snowflakes coming down. It's March 24th. We don't usually get snow on March 24th. Well, I went ahead, went over there, got a little snow on me, found this piece of wood. I brought it in and we're going to go ahead and turn it today. There's a couple issues going on. I kind of wanted to leave the bark on it, but even bringing it in here, it kind of fell off. So I think I'm going to skip that idea. I also have a big knot right there and I don't know how far it goes. It's got a crack in it, but it's only one way to find out. So I'm going to get a hole in here for a worm screw. We'll get it mounted up and see what's inside. So even with the square corners that I left on there, it's pretty balanced. Doing about 684 RPM. Let's start with a 5 8 bowl gouge. Cuts just like apple, which is really nice. I just resharpen this gouge I have here and I'm trying to put a 4040 on it again. See how it works. Now this is what I was seeing on the uh, top surface here was all these little stripes of different colors in here. And that's a surprise here. I like it. that cleaned up. We can take a little more off that base, clean this up a little bit, or we could leave that, but I'm going to put a tenon on here so most of that will go away. Well, this is not looking bad. Got some cracks.
Okay, I like that. I'll refine that curve a little bit. You can't see it, but I put a mark on here for a tenon. I'm going to go ahead and cut this flat here, and I think we're just about done with this side. this up and flatten it out. Okay, that should do it. So I'm all set up to sand. I'm going to put this dust pan underneath there and I'm going to collect some of the dust and the little fine cracks. I'll mix some shellac with that sawdust and I'll push that in here. The big ones, I'll leave them. I think they don't look bad at all, but the little ones, uh, they don't look as natural as that crack. Sanding in reverse at uh, 460 RPM. So I put a little bit of shellac in here. Get that in it. So I don't know if you can see that, but it's just made a little paste. And I'll push that down in, and it will sand very easily. It's pretty much the only spot that I thought I might need some. All right let that dry I'll sand it and we'll get it sanded to 400 and flip it around I have it flipped around I'm going to use the tailstock support just for a little while mostly until I get this flat but it looks like I could get in there a little bit with it so might as well take advantage of that How about 930 rpm sharpen up my half inch and uh, we'll be right back. I'm kind of concerned with this right here because that crack goes all the way through so I don't know how you know make that. So I just resharpened a half inch. I also looked over this area where you have a crack across here and it goes down about three quarters of an inch this way and if I keep cutting it might still be chasing that crack down there I don't know how much more I could take off of this but I'd like to take some off so that's what I'm going to do and well we'll just hope it stays together to get any thinner than this I think that'll be all right and those are totally separated but going down on a fairly steep angle so it's gonna be all right wow that wood is gonna be so pretty when I get some finish on it okay let's do that 
and I'm going to go down a little bit farther and then we just might have to do all the finishing here. That was a nice smooth cut so it's ready to sand. And let's go down about a, maybe another inch. I've never done this before, but I'm going to try something here. Be right back. So this is cracked pretty much all the way through, and that is wiggling. But I have all that cut, so I'm, I'm pretty pleased with that. But I think I'll just put this on here. It really can't hurt. Maybe it'll take a little bit of the flex out of it. But again, we're down past that. Okay, we'll get back over and start cutting on the inside again. I gotta get some light. There we go. See, yeah, I think. Yeah, right at that point. Take almost a quarter off here. So nothing to a quarter. Switching back to the 5 8 it's a little longer reach. Yeah, cut right through it. Sweet. Maybe not, maybe not here, but uh, yeah, not too bad. So I did check the thickness on the bottom, and it's right around three eighths of an inch. So I think that's plenty good. And I've already mixed up some of this sawdust from sanding and some of the black base sanding sealer just pushing it into these thin cracks they're kind of fuzzy and it's either carve them out or try to push some of this in there and I'm not going to do anything with that one because it's kind of got its own little markings on there it doesn't look bad so we're going to do that and then we'll sand it up and I want to try to get a coat of sanding sealer on the inside getting a little bit late but I have enough time to do that this is pretty smooth so I think I'll start with 120 got the lathe running forward at around 300 rpm okay, I'll get it sanded up to 400 and we'll put a coat of sealer on it I think you can see it a lot better 
watching the finish go on the outside. So I'll show you that and then I'll just go ahead and do the inside. And this is shellac based sanding sealer. So that's what that looks like. I'm going to get at least one more coat of this on and I'll decide if I want to put some shellac over it or if I want to just use abrasive paste. I'll figure that out tomorrow. So I will see you then. It's all finished up. It's time to remove the tenon. See how that runs. Not too bad. Use a half inch bowl gouge until we get right down to the last little nub. Doing about 650 RPM. I stopped when I was down to a small nub and it looked like it had a good size crack in it and the wood's a little bit soft there so I decided I would think about it for a while. I had to go in and get something out of the freezer. It's my turn to cook tonight. I came out here and I went and carved it off without thinking about it. But I just need to sand it, get it signed and get a finish on it. I'll come back and show it to you. Here it is. It is all done and I think it's a beautiful piece of wood. Look at that spalting in there. That was a real nice surprise. That uh, little inclusion right here that went all the way through and until I put the finish on there it was kind of loose but I think that tightened it up. And for the finish I used two coats of Zinsser Seal Coat and two coats of Zinsser Shellac and then I went over it with Axe Abrasive Paste and Polish and that left it with a really nice finish. Same on the inside. And there's the base. So it finished seven and a quarter inches in diameter. It's four inches tall and the walls are one quarter of an inch and it doesn't weigh anything. Apple's a fairly light wood and this was very dry. But I think it turned out pretty nice and I really like all the colors in it. This is pretty easy to do and I really enjoy making these and I sure hope you enjoyed the video. If you did like the video do me a favor click that like button and feel free to leave a comment. Both of those things will really help my channel grow. I do lots of different types of turnings and you never know what might be next so be sure to subscribe if you want to see more. And a special thanks to all my current subscribers. You really mean a lot to me. So, till the next time, see you later.